Hey, River's Edge, welcome to another Word on a Wednesday, where we pause just for a second to share something encouraging from God's Word. Uh, today I go to a couple of verses that if I had my top 10 scripture references in the entire Bible, this would be on that list. I say, first of all, because it's in the Old Testament, we do have to pause and realize it was written to a specific group of people, the Jews who had been exiled to Babylon when they conquered Jerusalem in 606 BC, and uh, written while they were away in captivity, and it was a promise to them, God's chosen people. Uh, but I don't struggle with the reality that God is unchanging, and we're his special people now, and I think we can easily see that he would probably have the same perspective and outlook on us and our future as he did theirs. So here they are, off in captivity. They've been conquered. Uh, they've got to be down. They've got to be frustrated. Probably a lot of whining and complaining. And the prophet Jeremiah writes them. He's back in Jerusalem. So he sends them this letter. He says, this is the message from God. Jeremiah 29. Build houses and make yourself at home. Put in gardens and eat what grows in that country. Marry and have children. Encourage your children to marry and have children. That would be grandchildren. So that you'll thrive in that country and not waste away. Make yourselves at home there and work for the country's welfare. Work for the country's welfare. Help the country that conquered you. Wow. And lastly, pray for Babylon's well-being. If things go well for Babylon, things will go well for you. So I think it's pretty clear Jeremiah was saying, make your world better. Even to the Jews that were off in captivity, he says, you can make your world better. I think we can make our world better still today. We're not in captivity. We have the greatest country in the history of the world. But we can sit and whine and complain about what we don't like about it, or we can choose to make our country better. Uh, we can do the best Build a house, plant a garden, have kids and grandkids, uh, make yourself at home. But then specifically that fifth item, pray for your country. Several references in the New Testament as well. We are to pray for our leaders and pray for our country and commit ourselves to make our world better. But then Jeremiah gave him this promise. There will be a day. And he says, uh, down on verse 11, as soon as Babylon 70 years are up, and not a day before. So God said, I'm punishing you, yes, but Babylon is your conquerors. They're going to be punished as well. And he says, I'll show up and take care of you as I promised and bring you back home. I know, that I'm, I know what I'm doing, and I have it all planned out. Plans to take care of you, not abandon you. Plans to give you the future you hope for. Another translation says plans for good, not evil. God is good and God only does good. And he's reminding the Jews that even in this really down time for them, uh, he was going to show up and he would make a difference in their lives again. He says, when you call on me, when you come and pray to me, I'll listen. God cares. God hears us. When you come looking for me, you'll find me. So let's remind ourselves that uh, we have the responsibility to make our world better, that God will show up. And when you reach out to him, he is listening, he cares, and he will ultimately be there for you. Seek him, you will find him. Have a great week.